Hello folks, and today we're going to do another little quick uh, repair. This time it's going to be on a uh, LR10. Um, it's an 8 amp power supply, 8 amp constant. Um, and it was made by Estron Corporation. Uh, she's 8 amp constant, 10 amp. A 50% duty cycle. The put transistor is 2N3771. Current amplifier. 3 amp fuse. Big juicy capacitor down there. Beefy little transformer. So basically, we got a couple problems with this power supply. Just in a quick inspection. I only got this one last week. And uh, it's got a couple of problems that need to be uh, repaired. Uh, one is this fuse holder. I don't like the fact that that is moving. Especially when that's on the, uh, on the hot side of the 120 volt line. The weight is your uh, neutral. Black is your hot. Green down there is your ground. So yeah, this wire here, you definitely don't want this one to slop around. So we're tighten up the uh, tighten up the fuse holder. And another thing we're going to do is, well, as you can see, we have a problem on the plug end that the insulation has broken clear of the actual plug, and you can see individual wires down there. Not copper, but you can see the individual wires, and that's not a good thing. So this AC cord is going to disappear. I have another computer cord here that I'm going to replace it with. This one here is kind of stiff, anyway. This one should be a lot easier to move around or whatever. But this cord here is disappearing, and we're going to tighten up the fuse holder. So if you're interested in following along, stay tuned. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to tighten up the nut on the fuse holder. Trust the little pliers. These are actually interesting. I don't know how old these are, but they got some nice gripping potential on them. <laughs> nice pliers for uh, doing these tightened up nuts and stuff. So I'm going to tighten up this nut. Because we don't want this fuse holder moving around when we're trying to move, replace the fuse. Okay, no matter too tight, you don't want some plastic. So now, as you can see, I can now remove my fuse. Three amp. I can put it back in. And the holder does not move. Well, a little bit, but nothing, nothing near as bad as what it was. There's a little bit more tighten up, but give her another little, uh, give her another little tweak, shall we? Don't want to break the plastic, mind you. It's so tight you can put that in. You know, snapping it. There we go, that's better. There we go, alright. Repair one done. Not much of a repair, but hey, it's loose, it had to be done. Uh, now we're going to cut the AC cord off and we're going to replace it. So this next thing we're going to do with this, this cord has got to oh. go. Snipper, I'll snipper here in case I need to get at it a little bit. But cut the cord. There we go. Now we have no other choice but to go back and replace that cord. So we'll bundle up this old AC cord. The old one. Now we're going to throw this in the garbage. And now we're going to remove this grommet and get this wire out. First, before we do that, we have to unsolder the original wiring.
This is always fun. <laughs> True. There's your, there's your black. Or the black, I should say. Yeah. See if I can't get the ground off. neutral off which will be the same sort of way it's gonna take a little bit to warm this up right. and get that neutral off rocket short of sort of thing there we go and then we have the neutral off so we have a neutral ground and a hot wires are now removed. So now we're going to get this grommet out and we pull this wire clear. So now we're trying to get the grommet out. There we go. Wire pulls out. Save the grommet because obviously we've got to put it back in again. There you go. There's the old wire and there's the old grommet. Alright, now I'm going to have to prepare the other wire so now. So what we're going to do is cut the, the female side off the plug. It's now cut. Now we have to strip back some of this insulation. So I'm going to go all through. It'll still hook up to the points inside the power supply. So stripped. Check the wire. Make sure there's no nicks in it. And I'm going to strip back some more. You don't want this wire damaged at all. So do a thorough inspection of it after you strip it. Looks fine. Then we'll just cut off that old black insulation that you don't need. And toss it in the garbage. Alright. Next, we have to put her on the grommet. Like so. And then close the grommet. And pinch it down. Like so. And you might want to, at this point, also strip your wires. And tin them. Just to make it a bit easier to solder in. these down now rather than trying to do it later it sometimes can be a nuisance after it's put in one more wire which is your hot Three wires are tinned. Now you can run those wires in through the hole that the grommet was originally in. And then get the grommet in the hole. There we go. She's in there. As you can see, you can pull on it. See how we still got some movement here? So what we're going to have to do is we have to build up the diameter of the wire, either with heat shrink or some electrical tape, just to make the you know the insulation thicker in the grommet so she pinches it better. As you can see, if I pull her off, I can pull the wire right out of the grommet. You don't want that. So I'm going to use the uh, electrician's, uh, I guess. Uh, a uh, secret weapon that would be electrical tape or 
our handyman secret weapon. I know it's usually duct tape, but uh, we're going to go electrical tape this time. <laughs> All you're looking at. All you want to do is just build up the insulation. So the grommet. Got more to grab hold to. That's all. So the only purpose this electrical tape is uh, doing. There we go, just like that. Okay. As you can see, a little bit thicker. So I'm probably should be able to grab hold to that better. electrical tape put on this. I want to make sure we get it in there. She ain't coming out here. Not without a fleet. Alright, so. Alright, I get too much tape. So. So a little bit of tape removed. Now we'll try this again. Again, put it in there. Put it on the wire, crimp it out. There you go, that's a little bit better. Yeah. solder three of these wires onto their proper places and put it back together. Alright, so I'll push my wire down through the hole. Like so. Then you want to bend it back like that. Solder it on. And that little bit of excess. it off. Another little bit of solder just to build it up. There you go. That 
it's your hot soldered. I gotta do the green and then do do the ground, then the neutral. Alright. So we've got our um, hot uh, soldered, our neutral is soldered on, and the ground is now soldered on. So for all intents and purposes, our AC cord is now replaced. Now, just looking over here at the soldering job on this diode. And uh, see that solder under that diode? Yeah, it's not a short waiting to happen now, is it? So we're going to remove that before that uh, before that causes a problem. All right. So we've got that uh, potential short removed. We don't want that. We don't want that, now do we? Any other potential problems? Hmm. We've got lead in some. I don't want that touching either. Not hard to tell they're quickly putting these things together. Pretty much it. Anyways, this has been the, re the I guess the repair of an Astron LR10 regulator power supply. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed the video. All the best.